I had seen a lot of women that got like tigers going down their arms and scary. and really scary, like like look at me, look how loud I am, things and and you know I'm not saying that that's wrong. It's just I was just never attracted to a girl who had tattoos, but I like the idea of me having tattoos. And then I met her, and one of the first things that we actually got in a conversation with within the first twenty minutes we met each other is I had just gotten my back piece done. And she, I'm like, I got a pretty big back piece. And she's like, no, I got a bigger back piece. And she won. Her back piece was indeed bigger than mine yeah, was. I, I stood up and I was like, my tattoo is going to kick your tattoo's ass. But it was beautiful. <laughs> but it was, it was beautiful and it looked like, you know, she had a big meaning to it. It's a generational thing. They don't understand it because they didn't get tattoos. But like now, one in three people have a tattoo. So there must be something really cool about it, you know? does offend some women and it actually offends a lot of older women they don't like seeing younger attractive girls with all this body art because they're like they tell you like oh it, it, you're too pretty to do stuff like that it's like well actually I think it makes me feel prettier so it was one of those things where once it was done I looked at it I was like oh my god that's there forever it was a little bit of a shock because it is so big but I think People who don't get tattoos are afraid of commitment. I, I view women who don't have tattoos. Um, it makes me think that those are the women that are more apt to go from relationship to relationship because they can't make up their mind. And what better way to show that you've made up your mind than to commit to a tattoo? It was really attractive because it had meaning. It wasn't like... Oh, look at the butterfly that I have on my arm, or the dolphin on my ankle. It was, it was something really meaningful. I, I don't think the permanency really bothers me. It's whether or not it's going to be able to, like, grow with me. Mm -hmm. Getting a tattoo is kind of like falling in love. You have to look at it and say, yeah, that's it. I got my first tattoo when I was 18, and it's still my only one, and it's actually not finished yet after my mom passed away for her. Uh, it was originally just going to be um, rosary beads and I was going to incorporate lyrics into it and but it was the focus of the tattoo was going to be rosary beads because my mom was very religious. Um, and then I took it to my first artist and he took one look at it and says this is going to be way too big on a girl your size. His sketchbook was just incredible, and like you have to you have to look at what somebody can do on paper before you trust what they can do on your skin. And then he came back with this design that I have now, and I took one look at it and said, "Do you have time? Because let's just do it right now today." And I sat there for five and a half hours my first time and got all the whole outline done the first day, and that was it. The shading's never been completed, and the more that I look at it without the shading, I don't think I'm ever going to finish it. I kind of like it the way that it is. So, I think it kind of, um, almost kind of coincides my relationship with my mom, like, not being finished. It's like therapeutic in a way. You get to take something really ugly and turn it into something, like, really pretty and something you can be, like, proud of.